In this video, I'm going to show how to drain down steel expansion tanks. These tanks become waterlogged over time, and I find the best thing to do with this is to drain it down on its surface. But before we do anything with these two steel tanks, we're going to shut the boiler off over here. Because we don't want to build pressure and have the relief explode. Now we're going to come over and we got to shut our pump off. All right, the pump is off. Now what we need to do, connect the hose to our drain. So this is a drain fitting with an inlet. So this is our air inlet to let the air in and this is the drain to let it out. Now that our hose is attached, I have a floor drain over there so I'm going to drain into it. So I'm going to point this at the floor, it doesn't really matter where. But first, now let's, we got the hose connected, isolate our tank. So this way we're not draining the whole boiler. Tank one, tank two, because I have two tanks up here in the ceiling. So, closed. Probably shouldn't even worry about the hose, but now I'm gonna open the hose and let water out. Aim it more towards the drain. And right now it's just letting out pressure. And now here, this valve brings in air. So we're gonna open it. And it is drawing in air. Which means that this tank is not waterlogged. So this tank is pretty good at this point if we're sucking in air. So I'm gonna let this go for a minute. But now let's go to the other tank. I don't have a hose on here. But this water should go to the floor. There we go. I'm going to slow it down a little. So the splashing is not all over the place. Now this one, let's open. The air. And we got water coming out. So this tank is waterlogged. So we're going to let this one drain down. I'm going to stop the other one, because the other one's sucking in air, so it'll be fine for the remainder of the year. So let's close this, and this one, because it's sucking in air, I'm going to say it's good. Let's stop it from sucking in. Yeah. So we have one good tank. Close. Now I'm going to move the hose to the other one. Because I want to open that wide. This one doesn't need to be open wide. So we're attached. This tank is waterlogged, so hoses towards the drain, not all over the place. Start draining it. Controls the splash with the hose. I don't want to splash on my pumps. So that's going. Let's. That's also why I slowed it down a lot. Let this go. Now you could drain it 100%. 
or you could drain it just till air comes out. This could take a while. I won't bore you guys with watching this thing take a piss. We'll be back as this thing starts to get air in it. So now, this is drawing in air. I'm gonna let this go for a little bit because this one seems to be filling up with water. I did this, I think it was in September I did this last. Right now this is March. I mean, they're big tanks, both of them. They're on a boiler that's about two and a half million BTUs. So, but we're just gonna let this drain down quite a bit because I wanna make sure that these are good because they do hot water for the building also. I'll be doing this in the fall also again, but always good while you're on in boiler maintenance to be making sure you take care of everything. Now, to the untrained eye, somebody watching me might say, hey, he's doing nothing. He's sitting there watching water come out of a tank. But I mean, if I don't do this, this boiler pressure goes high, the relief explodes. So, I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. So I decided I was gonna do them both. The one with the hose on it, this one, I set up an old piece of ceiling tile right here. This way it splashes on it, even though it's just the blue that would get wet. The electronics is far enough away. Still want to be splashing water all over everything. And these can come out. Puts even more air in. All right, so this is empty. Let's pop the air bleeder back in. I have to get a wrench just to snug it, but for now, that's there. Now let's close the valve. Now come to the other side, same thing, reattach this, and let's just snug up, I'll put the wrench in my back pocket, this, now both tanks are full of air. sight glass could have gone right between these and then you could see what's in the tank but that was never done closed those are that one's should have snug this one up at the same time or else it's just gonna leak Good. all right so they're both closed now you're gonna hear water come through very slowly. Let's start to fill. I'll only open them very little bit at first. Let them start to fill. Okay, I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna let them fill back up before I turn on my pumps. And now you let them fill. And once these fill back up, then you can put your system back on. Over here, make sure these don't leak or you gotta put caps on them. Strap the hose fitting.
and that these are tightened correctly so that they don't leak. And it sounds like it's starting to slow down a little. Can't really bypass it, so and I could open that a little. But I'm gonna let it on its own do it. Okay. Sounds like the feed is slowing down. Somebody fixed the tank once with a weld, it looks like. I mean, this is needed on these tanks, at least once a year. I try to do it on, at least check um, every time I do a maintenance and I come around. So I mean, the water is slowing down. It's gonna take probably like two or three minutes. So I won't have two or three minutes on this as these things are filling back up. But that's all you gotta do to drain out the water and recharge a steel expansion tank with air. And you always wanna make sure it's recharged with air. So, it's almost done. I might have to tighten that packing nut starting a week. I didn't even touch it, but things leak all the time. So, when I think about that. Oh, one more. Good. Alright, I should snug that up and stop it. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Let's slow it down even more. Two, three, four. Boom. Now it's almost stopped. Alright. Well, you can barely hear it at this point. These tanks are done. I'm out. And there'll be a video on greasing that pump.